The second domain of evidence I examined was regret. I compared the effectiveness of someone who is driven to chase ideals higher than themselves with someone who pursues their own happiness or someone who is completely aimless. Those are measurably more fulfilled who seek the ultimate rather than themselves or nothing. A life unfulfilled is the greatest regret, ask anyone on their last day. Here's a strategy to use regret as a measure of your fulfillment. Write a list of all the people who has met you. Now imagine in the distant future you have died and you get to watch your memorial day. All the people who met you are there and are sharing stories and making sweeping summaries of your life and what you are like. Next to each person's name, write what they will say about you. Rate each statement. Do you like what you will be remembered for? Next, write what you would wish each person would say instead. Maybe I shouldn't worry about what people think, but sometimes I do. Consider, when you are put on display for the world to see, why are some qualities prideful and others shameful? Perhaps there is an actual right way and when I'm exposed, it's obvious how far from tolerance I am from the design specs for my life. Of course, critics don't measure up either, but the idea that there is an up is interesting. They may not be qualified to judge me, but is it possible to assess someone accurately? From what foundation of reality can we measure against? Where did purpose come from?